Alright guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some solar lights. Revamping some solar lights. So if you want to know how to do it, keep on watching. channel it's Ashley here if you are new welcome so glad you decided to click on that thumbnail and watch this video first things first if you're not already subscribed to my channel make sure you click on that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll always be up to date with my latest tutorials all right so today tonight because it's it's night outside I'm gonna be showing you guys how to I guess like redo the solar lights or make you some farmhouse style solar lights. So that's what we're gonna be doing. It is Try It Out Tuesday, so I'm gonna have some other solar light ideas linked down below from of course Pinterest. I just decided to do these solar lights because I thought it would be cool to kind of revamp them. I literally say this all the time, but it's budget friendly. You know, I love to do budget friendly stuff and it's very, very easy to do. So let's get into this video and I hope you guys enjoy it. All right, so the main materials you're gonna need are these homemade tea light candle holders, solar lights, some jute twine, and burlap ribbon. All right, so the first thing that I was actually gonna do was I was gonna take the homemade jar part and add it to the stake at the bottom and then take the LED light, well not the LED light, but the solar light and put it on the top but then I was like that would look a little funny so instead I just took the actual tea light part out and added it to the stake so it have more of a solar you know light type of look and then put the solar light on top of that and decorate with my twine and burlap okay so the first thing that I did was cut off the bottom portion of the light holder I'm not sure if that's what you call it <laughs> but that's what I'm calling it and I did this so that it'll be able to fit into the top portion of our solar light perfectly. The next step is taking my burlap ribbon and I'm just going to wrap it around the top portion of the solar light. So I would definitely recommend using E6000 when you are doing this project if you're going to actually be using these for outside. I'm just using my glue gun for right now just to show you guys the process, but definitely use E6000 so you can make sure that they're very durable outside. Now we're just gonna glue our light to the top of the tea light holder. All right, so then I just used my twine and I just hid the seam in the back and also some of the glue that was around the top part of our solar light. All right, so the glue that you see at the top of the solar light, you can definitely just take a razor blade and cut that right off. Okay, and so the last step of this whole entire process is adding our stake to the bottom. I hope you guys didn't think this was like clickbait because it had like the patriotic stake on there and I'm really using the black stakes. But on the Dollar Tree website, they did not have any of the black stakes. So I was like, let me just use the patriotic one. Definitely not clickbait, guys. It's just Alright guys, so that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!